Teachers have long to-do lists, the longest. Which is why we often ask, what am I supposed to do with all this assessment data? It can seem like just another set of tasks to check off. As an administrator, it's important that you acknowledge the validity of this worry. Explain that teachers are not expected to be experts in data and provide teaching and leadership to support your teachers. After all, they're the learners here. When a teacher asks, what should I do with all this assessment data? There are two concerns embedded into that question. First, the teachers feel overwhelmed with the amount of tasks they're responsible for. And second, the teachers assume they must add data literacy expert to their resume. Acknowledge that a wall of data can indeed feel overwhelming and remind teachers that they're the learners in the scenario and that therefore they too deserve strong teaching, frequent review, project-based learning, and new opportunities for deepening their understanding. Admins, this is also a good time to remind teachers that ideally, raw assessment data is never handed to them with the implication that they should just figure it out. Reassure teachers that they aren't expected to be experts. Data literacy is a team sport. Make and share any professional development plans, virtual or on-site, that you've established with your assessment provider to augment teacher data literacy training. And see if you can find time to sit in with professional learning communities and support data conversations. Admins, it's okay to admit your own anxiety too. You're not a data scientist, unless you are. <laughs> and that big wall of data looks scary at first to anyone about to climb. Humor and camaraderie go a long way with your teachers. Be sure to give teachers permission. Even if they're an assessment veteran, they have permission to begin a new relationship with data, one where they're not facing it alone in their classrooms or expected to understand it just because they've been here for years. Consider this. Focus on one report with your teachers in a whole group setting and ask them to share aloud three things. One, conclusions they draw from the data visualization. Two, questions that might arise from this data. And three, next steps they might take. Teachers may not realize how data literate they or their colleagues actually are. And that's it. Reassure your teachers that you're in this together and that their time is something you value too. If you want more ideas on data conversations and resources, check out our blog, Teach, Learn, Grow, as well as many other resources available at nwea.org.